today I will show you how to thread the knitting machine. First, let's assemble the yarn stand. Take the metal rod and turn it so the straight end is towards you. Take the clip for the guide sheet and insert it from the straight end. The curved end must be towards the back of the machine. Take the metal guide and attach it under the clip for the guide sheet. Now insert the plastic cup holder. Attach the yarn guides onto the curved end. It should look like this. Finally, attach the two cups and put the metal rod into its holder. Place the yarn bow into the plastic cup. Take the yarn end and pull it through the first eyelet. Then pass the yarn through the tension discs. The yarn must be under the small pin. Unhook the metal tension spring. Pass the yarn through the eyelet. Then through the eyelet on the tension spring and the last eyelet. Take out the feeding eyelet and thread it. You can use a needle or the double end bodkin tool to thread it easily. Open the jaws and insert the feeding eyelet. Here you can see it close up. Then pull the yarn under the brush between the beds and insert it in the notch on the right side of the machine. Take the guide sheet and slide it into the clip. To remove it, push the metal roller up and the sheet will fall. And now I will share a few tips with you. If you are using a very big bobbin of yarn and you can't place it into the plastic cup, you can place it behind the machine. If loops appear at the edge of the knitting, you should increase the yarn tension. You should loosen the tension if the tension spring is touching the lower eyelet. The normal tension is 3.5, you must change it only when working with very thick or very fine yarns. If you are using a color changer, the yarn must be arranged the same way as it has been threaded into the machine, from left to right. If the machine does not knit, make sure you have installed the feeding eyelet correctly. And don't forget about the pin. That's all for today, have a nice day and see you in my next video.